Hi, it's Steph. Welcome back. A few weeks ago, I had filmed a video called Garden Plans 2022, where we talked about a few things that we wanted to do in the yard. One of these projects was finding a water-loving tree to plant in an area of our yard that gets a lot of standing water. And today was a beautiful day, so we decided to take a ride to a local nursery called Briggs in search of a tree for this particular area. Briggs is a beautiful nursery with so much variety and selection. Here I'm looking at some lamb's air. Is anyone else a plant toucher? These were so soft and velvety. We end up finding what I think is the perfect tree for the area that we're looking for. And so in this video, you'll get to see what tree we chose, which you may already know by the description or the thumbnail. There was so much to look at at this nursery, such beautiful variety. This is the ideal time to go shopping for plants when everyone's getting all of their spring inventory. There is just so much to look at. I didn't get any plant names during this trip because it was really focused on just getting a tree. Once we found the tree, it ended up being much too large to take home in my minivan, which actually is what I was planning to do. So we ended up having to schedule a delivery. Stay tuned to the end of the video where we actually go home and start prepping our planting hole getting ready for the tree. This is what I want to plant. Instant impact, 400 bucks. That is not going to fit in our van. Do you think so? No way. You no way. No way. It's not going to fit. So what are we doing? All right, so I think we're gonna get this one. This you... is a river birch, a heritage river birch. Um, this is a really good sub substantial sized tree, but I think it would offer instant impact in that area. We are gonna have to have it delivered because unfortunately it won't fit in my minivan. It's a ball and burlap, so it's quite big, but it has this beautiful peeling bark and it looks like it has some fall color. The leaves will turn about yellow gold in the fall. So that's good because in addition to the interest of the bark, it'll offer some additional seasonal interest in the fall. It's a big tree. It's a big tree. Uh, according to the tag, it's about a 10 to 12 foot tree. And they get to be, the dimensions on it read 40 to 40, 40 wide, 40 um, tall. But from what I've seen of them, they don't What's the name of it get again? overly wide. It's a heritage birch. It's beautiful. That's, that's going to be difficult to plant. That's really big. Yeah, the, the planting is certainly going to be a problem. So we decided on the birch. We're just going to um, look at some evergreens because I want to see if they have any cool uh, conifers since they have a lot of selection right now being early spring. Something that we can maybe add to our Japanese garden. We don't have one of these in the Japanese garden yet. They have a nice color. Mm -hmm. These are four to five. This one's already sold. Actually, most of these already have sold. That one 99 one had more height. Is this one? This one's also. See, if we don't come early, you don't get anything. This, these behind you are gold. Look at this one. And the blue. Yeah, this. They have everything here. Why do you talk about money? 
$2.99. All right, so what are we doing now? See, these are $2.99. Are they the same type? Yeah. I'm into these multi stem trees. What's this big beast? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna look that up. I can't. Here's my phone. I have your These are so expensive. Because they're miniature. This is like the tree we have in the backyard right here. This old one. Like I got at that nursery in Connecticut. Yep, it is. But they already took a couple of bites out of it. That was the purchase this year for uh, big plants, big trees. It's going to be a job to get that thing in the ground, that's for sure. I was thinking maybe we should get something else because of the delivery fee. Yeah, but, but I mean, we're already into it for a good amount with this tree, so I can't, I, I can't in good conscience spend even more money today. <laughs> maybe another day, so but So this not is today. the Mother's Day, birthday, Slash Christmas, anniversary, slash every holiday rolled in 2022 into one. rolled into one. All right. This place is literally a gardener's paradise, like a playground. I just took some footage inside to kind of show you how beautiful it is. There's an inside greenhouse, and this is the shopping area with so many pots and just different garden-related items. Their seeds and tuber selection was also really great. They also have a coffee shop inside, so if you feel like you need a snack or some coffee, you can just pop in here and grab some. So, I just figured I'd show you some more of the place. This is Briggs Nursery in Attleboro, Massachusetts. We're getting ready to uh, prepare the hole for our birch that's going to arrive tomorrow and so we use this tire as a circle where the tree is going to sit um, so we're going to dig around it and um, get the hole ready so that's what we're working on now So we were able to get the top layer of the sod off and we tried to shave it off nice and thin so that we're not wasting too much of our good loom. So now George is going to haul that away and we are going to keep working on digging the hole. This is the next day. We were so 
worn out and excited yesterday from the um, buying of the tree but we know that the tree is coming tomorrow on Monday so we have to um, get this prepped for it so that was step one our magnolia tree is actually starting to come into bloom this tree actually is a Dr. Merrill magnolia and it's an early spring bloomer and it's beautiful it has these um, very nice white open blooms. They're not a cup and saucer type. They're almost like a star. Um, let me see if there's one that might be a little more open. That's probably as open as it's getting right now, but it's just a bloom, um, kind of an open bloom like that. It's actually beautiful and smells so fragrant. Not sure what it smells like, but when you walk by it, you can't miss it. Really pretty. We have really rocky soil, so it gets a little tricky, um, a little more labor intensive. When you're digging things, you're likely to hit some rocks, some small, some large. Um, oh, George is already it's hitting a filled. rock. It's all filled. Yeah, you this is. Know, like the brown? Yeah. Is all that nasty filth? It's almost like sandy. Yeah, and um, then the top layer is the loom. It's all good loom. Yeah. So we'll save the loom and we'll dump the fill. Yeah. These more worms. Yeah. We'll keep them. We'll keep them in the hole. Seems to be happy there. Find anything good yet, George? This is all rock. See, it's all, now we're getting into all rock. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Rocks and bones. Yeah, yep. yep. That's certainly a bone, right? It's a big farm. It was a big farm. So our development, it's a new subdivision, well, in the last decade or so. And um, it used to be a, a farm, a pig farm. So once in a while when we're digging, we find fossils. Yeah. The last step for today, we're gonna get some um, soil into the hole as a base so that when the tree gets here, we can hopefully just have it dropped into the hole. But I was able to get these bags of black cow on clearance at Lowe's because it had a hole in it. So look around at your Lowe's for bags with holes in them because sometimes they'll discount them for you. When I mix dirt that I'm going to put in a hole for a tree, I usually like to make a combination of um, compost, which I just use the black cow compost. This topsoil, this is just a Scots topsoil, and it has a little bit of pea and uh, sphagian moss in it. And, um, and then I add some of the um, native soil that was in the hole and so we combine all of that together in the wheelbarrow and we're going to put it lay it down as a base under the tree along with some startup fertilizer thank you for being my garden helper That's my job. <laughs> his job is to help me with all the stuff that makes my back hurt i'm very thankful for it if you don't have one of these it's this tool that has a rake on one side and a hoe on the other this thing is amazing. It's a small garden hand tool. I got this one at Walmart for probably like five or six dollars, but I know that Corona Tools makes one also, and it's so effective with breaking up clumps of soil. I use this to dig holes for planting in my garden, and it's overall just a really, really handy and useful garden tool. While we're on the subject of tools, I wanted to tell you about this awesome shovel that I have too. Um, I got this a couple years ago. I probably ordered it on Amazon and I can link it below if I can find it. But it's an all steel, um, it says it's a D-handled garden spade, but it's this flat shovel. And what's really good about it is that when you're digging holes and you need to lift sod, because it's nice and flat and sharp, it does quick work of getting that sod lifted and you can get it nice and thin. And also, I guess one of the features is that it has this um, thicker step here so that you can get more of your foot on it when you're, you know, pushing down on it with your foot to dig your holes. Um, I paid for this with my money, so I have no reason to tell you that other than I actually really enjoy this shovel. So we have our mix all ready, and we're gonna put some in the hole. Just a few shovels worth because we wanna make sure that it's underneath the tree um, so that it has a good base of soil, but we don't, obviously we don't wanna build up our soil too much because we need it to be deep enough for the tree to be able to sit in there. Now that the soil is in here, I'm just gonna kind of like straighten it out, get it nice and flat, and I'm gonna add some startup fertilizer. I'm using this um, organic um, Escola Biotone, but you can use any kind of fertilizer that you have. I'm gonna sprinkle some in the hole, and 
Now this tool is going to be ready so that when we get our tree tomorrow, we'll be able to plant it. Stay tuned for the next video where we actually get the delivery and get the tree in the ground. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Look at my knees. They're soaked. This is what happened just from being on the ground for like two minutes prepping this hole. Um, this area is very wet because of the grade of our driveway. The water ends up sitting here. So this is exactly why we chose a river birch because they are supposed to be water loving trees. So hopefully the tree will be happy here and it will sop up a lot of this extra water.